exhilarating experience to travel that fast over the water, just kind of pure adrenaline. So getting to do it for 3,000 miles across the Atlantic, you know, it's a thrill the whole time. Blasting across the Atlantic is just amazing. It's a, it's a dream, but it's not easy. <laughs> By no means. And especially now that we've put foils on the boat, they're so powerful. We're not doing it because it's easy, we're doing it because it's hard. And, and we lose most of the time, but that's okay. It's part of it. It's a big challenge in sailing, and it's great to have a race win crossing the Atlantic. They're great racers, they're very good people. They're friends before they're competitors. Sometimes sailing super fast, we love it! Crossing the finish line of a rock transatlantic race was a unique experience, really special because we are the first woman doing this kind of thing on multi so uh, we are super proud. Morning of day two, we hit a whale. It wasn't a significant hit, but it took the bottom three or four hundred millimetres off the rudder. You know, your heart's in your mouth because you think, do you go back now? You're already six days underway. Had these guys carefully considered, okay, it's safe enough. We calculated risk, and we also watched it for 24 hours, whether it would disintegrate further, but it didn't happen. So then we got more confident, and after six days, it was still looked exactly the same. The whole thing was to get line on us. We achieved our goal. It's a roller coaster in experiences, and yeah. uh, uh, it's a life-changing thing to, to do this. Super emotional at the end when you see the lights of the land coming and you realize, okay, we've done it, this is it. But yeah, really an accomplishment. This race was a challenge. It was the gift that kept on giving. It was hard. Just when you thought you were out of, you know, any sort of challenging conditions, another one would crop up. Really a race of four quarters. If you ask me what's my real goal this time, I'm gonna be audacious and say, I wanna win the overall. And they delivered, we delivered, it's phenomenal. It was 105 miles out from the finish and the breeze finally built to get an A4 up. And I, I see all my young crew move to the back windward corner of the boat. Maybe uh, Richard Clark was driving and everyone else is after him in the corner of the boat, grins from ear to ear as we're surfing down waves in 30 knots of breeze, doing 25 knots of boat speed. And I did get emotion. I looked at them and I said, what a great, what a, what a great bunch. Really great bunch of young men. and I've never had an Atlantic crossing in over 20 crossings as nice, as pleasant as this one was. I said, if it was sailing was like this all the time, everyone would be doing it. Everyone's not doing it because it's not like this all the time, but it's, it's really something to be appreciated when, when it all comes together. Like to race them in such beautiful, consistent, smooth downwind conditions was amazing. We have amateurs on board, we do have pros, but the pros are giving the amateurs an opportunity to get the experience. And that experience is the victory that they get. I see myself with my pro team as an assistant of the others, and we race to the level of the others. We train on the go, so every day people, people improve. But after Cape Verdes, we change into performance mode, and then uh, the big surf started coming up. It was just amazing that we, in the end, we had like, what, half an hour or something in between us. It was uh, very exciting. We just spent 14 days out on the deck, sailing, uh, seeing uh, dolphins, whales, uh, fish, birds, uh, enjoying the sunset and the sunrise. So it was just amazing for me, you know, sailing and be outside, helming the boat, trimming the sails and enjoying the life at sea. Always we are learning. You know, always it's different. The weather is uh, not what you have expected. It's always different. And what, this is what is interesting. So I, I, I love this. It was such a great adventure. Everything was new and amazing. The big waves, uh, the long time. But for us, everything worked out good and worked out fine. Ten minutes before the start, they said, it's a good way to be a pleasure to go to the south. But the north, they said, you will have uh, some difficulties 
We believe that we have uh, enough experience, and, uh, we... but it was not um, a pleasure party at the beginning. It was very, very, very hard for us. The wave was six meters uh, high, plus the wave of the wind, one of the left, one of the right. The wave was not difficult the day, but the night, it was impossible. But uh, the second week, we have the, the moon. For the driveway, it was better. Cody went north, we went south, so there was that element of who's got the better routing. We plugged south and we were lucky enough to keep in the breeze, but we unfortunately hit something, I'm not sure what it was, in the water. Around the Cape Verdes, we heard a bang, and it hit the rudder. And over the course of the next few days, we found that when we were going fast, then we got some rudder oscillation. So we, we, we throttled back. It was much harder than I thought it was going to be. It was obviously very different. I hadn't done anything like it before. Wow, that is nuts. I obviously saw a lot of dad, which is really nice. Also, I think it's a fun thing to do is like with me and him. And I've enjoyed it far more because he's there and it means we've done it together and it's a lot of fun. I mean, I love the walk transas. I love offshore. You've got so many different things to overcome. 20, 22, 23. So we pushed ourselves, but there was definitely a good vibe on board. That's the whole part of it. You're supposed to push yourself, go out of your comfort zone and try and win the race. Kakodi sailed very well. They managed their crew very well. They managed their boat very well. And, and they were able to keep sustain the speed and, and got away from us at the end. But it was, it was a great race, loved it. It was definitely a journey. It's a big challenge for Tigris to do a race across the Atlantic. My co-skipper and I have done uh, the Round Britain, uh, the Fastnet and the Full Rock Championship and we were very keen to take on this challenge. It was a long race. I think uh, psychologically you've got to be in it and realise that you're at sea for an awful long time with no communication really from, from the outer world. So that's something to get your head into. The biggest challenge was the fact that our autopilot uh, wasn't working and as soon as we got into some waves off the African coast started oscillating and there was no way we could work out how to fix it and we've done the whole Atlantic crossing hand steering so that's quite a big undertaking and when you asked me why we didn't take a few more videos we were clinging onto the tiller. Some of the sailing was fantastic, uh, downwind blasting with a spinnaker up just powering through the waves it's absolutely brilliant. It's a good team, Maggie's tough, she's very special. Oh, when you're double-handed sailing, you don't see a lot of the other person because you're on the opposite watch. <laughs> no, you get on, you get on well, and I think I was very generous. I mean, to let me come on on this challenge and to, to do all the miles and everything else is uh, is is pretty special, and to trust me that much as well. It wasn't plain easy sailing all the way, but uh, I don't think it was for anybody, and that's part of the challenge of this race, which is uh, special and different to the other ones. It was hell. It was fantastic. The wildlife was great. The team was even more great. It had everything and it was really great to come here and kiss the ground. I was really happy. <laughs> to be ashore. Yes. Uh, uh, my word for the work transatlantic is uh, a learning process. I've learned a lot. In one word it would be impressive, very impressive. Mm -hmm.